Hello everyone. Uh, today I'll be explaining the development of stomach uh, with a handmade uh, model. Uh, this is made up of thermocol and I have colored uh, separately with uh, different colors. Hope you understand well. Okay, now let's begin. Let's focus on the model. Now, this model is showing a fusiform uh, shape of the development of stomach. Stomach develops in the foregut and uh, this is the upper end and this is the lower end and this is representing the anterior border while this is representing the posterior border. Okay, so this is right surface and this is left surface. And this red wire is representing the vagus nerve that is the right vagus and this is representing the left vagus. Okay, so as we know, the stomach rotates in the two axes. Okay, one is the vertical axis, which connects the cardiac end and the pyloric end. Okay, now in the vertical axis, it will move this way. Okay, there is another axis which is called anteroposterior axis where it will move this way. Okay, let's begin with the first axis that is the vertical axis. So when it moves in the vertical axis, 90 degree rightward it will move, okay. So it will move 90 degree like this. So in this what happened, the left surface will become anterior surface and which was the right surface, it has become the posterior surface. The ventral border has become the right border and the dorsal border has become the left border. Similarly, you have seen this vagus nerve which was on the left side has come to the anterior surface and this vagus nerve which was on the right side has gone to the posterior surface. Okay, so we are done with the longitudinal axis uh, rotation. Now I'll be showing you the rotation in the anteroposterior axis. So in the anteroposterior axis rotation what happens as this one. Okay, so there will be like this type movement. So here what happens, the lower end, that is the pyloric end, will move upwards and to the ventral part. Automatically, this upper end, that is the cardiac end, will go a little downwards and towards the left. Okay, understood? So this cardiac end, ultimately, with the growth, it will go backwards little and to the left. And the pyloric end will come to the right and to the front. And in the same time, when this uh, rotation in the axis is happening, this border on the right side and the, on the left side also will have some differential growth. In the stomach, the right border will grow in a slower phase, while the uh, left border, okay, that is that will have immense growth and that will develop into greater curvature, okay, and this will develop into lesser curvature. Pause once. So now you can see this same thing I'm showing here. So now this is after the growth of the greater curvature on the left side and this is the lesser curvature on the right side. This is the cardiac end and this is the pyloric end. Okay. So and the shape you have seen and the position will be like this. So when you hold a uh, specimen of the stomach, you should put your hand this way on the left side and put the specimen like this. Automatically, if you do like this, the specimen will be at normal anatomical position. Now let's see the uh, mesentery relation of the stomach. As you know, uh, the whole stomach is completely surrounded by the uh, peritoneum and like how it happened. So now, this is the upper end and this is the lower end and this uh, pulsing bag is representing the mesentery. So the, here will be the anterior abdominal wall and here will be the posterior abdominal wall. Okay. Now above will be the abdomen. So now with the rotation of the stomach, the mesentery also will be moving like this. Okay. So this is called ventral mesogastrium and that is dorsal mesogastrium. So as with the rotation, ultimately position on this, you have already just now learned, this part of the ventral mesogastrium will give the 
lesser momentum and this will immensely grow and it will develop into greater momentum okay first so today you have seen how a fusiform dilatation of the foregut which develops into a stomach with two rotations longitudinal anteroposterior uh, rotation into a j-shaped object stomach this way okay thank you